Hello guys, this is Makasan Fjord and today I will show you a tutorial how to install or flash, whatever you call it, uh, the latest Thor ROM on your Galaxy S4 device. And uh, later on I will also show you how to install uh, Galaxy Note 7 or Galaxy S7 uh, Edge or just S7 the latest ROMs. So first of all guys, you will have to proceed this process with uh, clicking from three buttons at the same time so first click the power button uh, no volume up power button and then home uh, power button and uh, wait for device to boot up into recovery mode and uh, after you hear the vibration feel that and also uh, just hold on these buttons for a little bit longer and you will see the recovery you clearly see that the recovery and soon the team win recovery will pop up so guys next you have to do you have to wipe up all the data so just by click by swiping to factory reset this is how we do okay so this is how you delete your system and of course it doesn't take long make sure that the battery is over 40% Anyway, now go. You can go back, clicking back, or just click on the device, and then you will have to click for install. Also, make sure that you downloaded the the ROMs, the flash files on your device, and the ending should be .zip. So, um, first of all, let's try installing this one. So full pack, okay, and. Um, Okay, great. So you can also add more zips and in this case you will have to use this patch zip. Okay, and just click swipe to confirm. And guys, you will see very interesting view now. Yes, this is how it looks like. The first phase stage of the flashing the ROM into your device. You can see some interesting animations, kind of beautiful, well, unbelievable. So some things what's new, anyway you cannot click on this but you can just see all the things that is going to be here. So also a warning that no responsibility of what is installed, uh, you know, that we are not taking any uh, responsibility if something damages if something goes wrong damages your device so make sure that uh, this device uh, you care about that so once you see this so you click your language and you see and make sure that this Galaxy S4 is Snapdragon 600 then uh, press continue click next then Tick agree with terms and conditions. Then before pressing the setup, read this carefully. So make sure to read that. Also, guys, you can just uh, select your device features. I prefer Galaxy S7 Plus Note. So let's proceed with that. And then full wipe will be performed. All data deleted. Well. Okay, so we are preferring this, we are clicking for that, clean install. Okay, then you here have some other features like sounds volume, normal, keyboard, you can also swipe, clicking, Samsung apps, widgets, extra tools, kernel tweaks. Okay, then some other things and if you are okay, so basically just click next and finish with the installing now so you see that here's the process how it goes well it goes quite quickly and it updates frequently so you should guys see this if you if you because you will be able to judge that this is working so this is not just boots up and I mean so basically this ROM is very popular and uh, it's not uh, only for Galaxy S4, but as well for, for many other devices. And uh, 
should work very fluent, uh, flavorlessly and without any lag. Well, of course, uh, this is a ROM, guys. You make you, you have to make sure that many bugs can. I still some bugs might occur. I don't mention that many bugs, but there is a possibility. So that's that's this is a you know like law of nature. So all the things need to be prepared and improved. So. I can also guys skip this to the next stage, so stay tuned. And here guys what you will see after the flashing is finished. So first would take more than 10 minutes. Remember this, this is very very important. Of course. So just click next, then back okay, do you want to Okay, so also we can get to here and then just click finish so guys wait for 10 minutes this is essential and I will show you how it all how it all will start so wait a little bit okay if it doesn't boot up so just click the power button Okay, so we are now sure about that and we click the power button. This is how it will look like, just some info, Galaxy S4 international version. And this is what it takes, this is a logo that will flash very frequently with a Yes, darker, dimmer, and then lighter. And guys, wait five plus five, ten minutes. So just make sure that. Okay, guys, so we boot up. Well, that looks great. So, okay, we, here we have put the SIM card here. Anyway, let's log in. To device Wi-Fi and proceed okay great so far it's working perfectly okay okay we have software update Okay, skip this. Okay, let's skip that part as well. Okay, this one as well, skip. And just click for more next. And here we go. Okay, so what we have here looks like Galaxy S6. Wow, it's I mean it's so flavorless. Okay, let's just click. Wow, it's working really, really beautiful. Okay, what about getting into our applications? So here are applications. Here they are. Okay. It's working quite good. Mm -hmm. Let me go to our device. Oh, that's interesting, but what's about? Ok, 
Okay, since I cannot get information about the device, anyway, guys, it's working really well. I don't see any problem. Also, let's try some Galaxy Labs. Okay, Galaxy Labs. Then also, I think here we can select themes. Okay. Okay, here we have Galaxy S Seven. More themes. Wow. Anyway. Looking really great so far. So, okay, this is how, and the performance is really, really nice. It's working really fast. Okay, let's click. So, here we go. If we hold on the home button, then it will pop up our us into Google. Okay, great. What more do we have? And let's check some other features like okay, post installer. Okay. Also, I think I I see here as note. So this might be application that is working for Galaxy Note. But anyway, guys, it's working really fast, and I don't see any problem with the. Okay, great. So here I see a notification, is it Note 7 or is it something similar to that? Okay, so NVC. So guys, we can see the S view is working properly, all the notifications. So that's really great. But I can see that this is for Galaxy Note because you saw that it's here so guys this was a tutorial how to install a Tor ROM on your Galaxy S4 and as far as you can see this device is working really nice and uh, there are all the features that Galaxy S7 or Galaxy Note has so uh, of course mind that this is not the device with a fastest um, chip but anyway it's working really fast it has some interesting applications installed so um, well so thanks for watching and uh, please uh, share this to to media and also if you have any questions please uh, subscribe and uh, please write below in the section comment and uh, so thanks for watching and welcome and i will be waiting for you back peace out